Is TikTok really a threat to kids? Does it steal your data? Is it really a threat to America's national security? Those are such bold claims. It's easy to think that anyone who makes them is some kind of conspiracy nut. But the people who believe TikTok is a threat now includes Democratic and Republican members of Congress. A bipartisan committee in Congress recently held a hearing to examine TikTok's behavior. Specifically, legislators wanted to know about TikTok's relationship to the Communist Party of China, which rules Chinese citizens with an iron fist and is famous for human rights abuses that look a lot like attempted genocide. The committee also wanted to know whether TikTok captured user data and shared it with the Chinese rulers. TikTok CEO Shuzi Chu testified in front of Congress on March 23, 2023. He tried to answer legislators' concerns about the Chinese government's involvement in TikTok and its parent company, ByteDance. Chu claimed the app doesn't provide users with much more than silly dances and shareable trends. But both Democrats and Republicans had hard questions about whether TikTok, which boasts 150 million American users, gathers and turns over users' data to the Chinese government. The members also wanted to know if TikTok's algorithm elevates some of the worst content, including suicide and anti-American rants, to the top of kids' feeds. One embarrassing example? For over a month before Chu's hearing, TikTok allowed a video to trend that threatened the chair of the committee where Chu testified. Reports also show that the algorithm TikTok uses for kids in America is banned in China. A separate application owned by ByteDance uses a completely different kid-friendly algorithm for Chinese users. That app apparently focuses on education and limits how long a kid may use it. After the hearing, the Chinese government said they will block the sale of TikTok to an American company, and the left-leaning Center for Democracy and Technology came out against a TikTok ban. It's probably no coincidence that the center is heavily funded by left-leaning tech companies like Google, Facebook, and Amazon, as well as left-leaning foundations like George Soros's Open Society Foundation and the Ford Foundation. If TikTok cannot remove videos threatening people, has a different application for users in China, and promises to block the sale of TikTok to an American company, then the answer to the question, is TikTok an asset of the Chinese Communist government, becomes much clearer.